Okay, I want to show you guys how to make a uh, a sizable, movable, customizable vignette. Um, it's really quite easy. Uh, first thing you're going to do is obviously pull up your image. And we're going to come over here to uh, create an adjustment layer. Uh, you can pick levels or exposure. It's really up to you, but for simplicity, I will pick exposure. What I want to do is darken the entire image. I'm just going to drag this down. Uh, basically, make it really dark because you can come back on your opacity uh, at the end. Okay, so let's bring the exposure down. We want to hit B for brush. Make sure that your brush is a little smaller than that, uh, about a quarter size, I would say. Make sure that your hardness is set to zero. Your opacity is set to 100%. And we're just going to make a little dot. Uh, you can make any shape you'd like. You could even feather this out more if you'd like. Um, but just to show you real quick the principle behind it, we're just going to make a clear little dot right there. We're going to hit Control T. That's going to give us a selection. And from this point, you're ready to roll. You can customize how this vignette is going to shape out. Um, it does not have to be perfect oval. It could be any shape that you want to create and place it anywhere you'd like. Say that, for example. Say OK. And uh, that's basically it. You could come up here, change your opacity on the overall adjustment layer so your vignette can have a different shade of darkness. And you want to stretch that out. You can always come back and change it. Just stretch, pull from. You can hit Control Shift. I'm sorry, just hit Shift, and it'll constrain the aspect ratio for you. Or you don't have to hit anything and just drag it free, freely, and you are uh, in custom mode here. So you can drag it just outside the um, outside the image. So you could just do the corners if you like, but. It's a completely customizable vignette, which is much better than the Lightroom version where you're stuck to the middle and working with midpoints and things like that. All right. Uh, that was a nice, easy one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.